Welcome to WIGJIG Video University. In this episode, what we're going to do is tell you some of the basics uh, that are involved in making any wire component on one of our WIGJIG uh, jewelry making jigs. We're going to start this project by cutting a segment of wire. And normally we would have a ruler and we would measure this wire and we would cut the wire to a defined length. Even when we're using practice wire, we would do that for the simple reason that that way, when we go to use our good wire, we know how much wire to cut and we and know how much wire we're going to be throwing away. Now, when I cut the wire here, my flush cutter has a flat side and a beveled side. The beveled side will leave a sharp cut on the wire. The flat side leaves a flat cut on the wire. So just as I always try to leave the flat cut on the spool of wire, that way it won't stab me when I go to pick it up. And now this is the sharp cut this is the flat cut from the previous cut. And what I want to do is use this side in my jewelry component. Now the next step in what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a loop in that segment of wire. And I make a loop with a tool we call step jaw pliers. And the reason I'm using this tool to make the loop is the first step is the size of the peg for the wig jig Delphi. Second step is the size of the peg for the wig jig Olympus or Olympus Light or Electra. And so now I've gripped the wire, I'm holding it in my step jaw pliers, I'm going to push the wire up and over, and I can't complete the loop because the jaws of the plier are in the way, so I need to reorient the wire so that I can complete the loop, and I've got a small little gap there, and I just want to push the wire till that gap is closed, and at this point you can see the gap is completely closed. I want to remove the wire from my tool, and now what I have is a simple P loop, and the loop is the size of the peg for my wig jig Olympus. Now that I have a loop, what I can do is hold the wire by the loop and straighten the wire. And it's very important that you straighten the wire before making any jewelry project. And you just do that with your nylon jaw pliers and pulling the wire through the jaws of your nylon jaw pliers several times, and it gives us a nice straight segment of wire like that. Now that we have a straight segment of wire, what we're going to do is introduce our wig jig tool here. And with our wig jig tool, we're going to make a pattern. And the pattern has three pegs in the pattern. But the important thing in anything that we make on our wig jig tool is even though there are three pegs in this pattern, I'm going to start with two pegs. And the reason for that is simple. If I started with three pegs, the third peg would be in my way, making my life miserable. So whether there's three pegs in your pattern or ten pegs in your pattern, start with two pegs and add a peg as you go. And we'll show you how you do that. Now I'm going to take that initial loop that I made, I'm going to put it onto one of the pegs in the jig, and now I'm going to wrap the wire around the pegs in turn. And the way I do that is you can see how I'm holding the wire with one finger and guiding the wire I'm using the index finger in my dominant hand, and I'm moving the jig with my non-dominant hand. So you can see it's easier to keep the wire stationary and move the jig than to try and move the wire and keep the jig stationary. What I want to do is I want to push the wire until with no pressure applied, the wire is right next to the hole for the next peg in the pattern. So you can see the wire is right next to the hole for the next peg in the pattern with no pressure. Now for this particular pattern, the finished piece will lay flatter if I flip it over after that loop. So I flipped it over here and now I'm going to make the third loop in the pattern. And again, I'm just going to push the wire with one finger while I move the jig with my non-dominant hand. And once I got it in position, I want to push it down a little bit. So it looks like that. We call this wire component queen of clubs. Comes off the jig looking like this. It's a little bit three dimensional, so it's not quite ready for prime time. So what I need to do now is I need to smush that wire component flat. And I do that with my nylon jaw pliers. And I just squeeze it in a couple of different orientations until the piece flattens. And so you can see now that it's a lot flatter. And that is my queen of clubs 
wire component, and we will use that in a, in a later video uh, to make the Queen of Clubs earrings. But that's how we make a wire component on one of our wig jig tools. And just to review, you start by measuring your wire, you cut your wire, you make a loop in the end of the wire, you hold the loop and use your nylon jaw pliers to straighten the wire, and you straighten the wire completely. And then you're ready to put that initial loop onto the first peg in your pattern, and then wrap the wire around the peg, starting with just two pegs, and adding pegs as you go. And the final thing is you want to push the wire and move the jig. You don't want to pull the wire. Pulling the wire will introduce bends in the water. And that's big wig jig basic video.